Good morning, everybody. Uh, coming at you here from a beautiful morning in Alabama where we are putting a low dose chlorpicrin trial out on cucumbers. Uh, what we're looking for here is better germination. We're looking for enhanced early crop vigor and we're looking for uniformity of growth uh, that ultimately is going to result in a more uniform harvest, uh, more uniform size profile of cucumbers for fresh market. Um, sitting on our rig right now, I'm going to walk you through in just a second, uh, kind of show you how this piece of equipment works. It's uh, also kind of a new design for us for what we refer to as in row flat application uh, in a strip till situation. So kind of a, a reduced tillage opportunity for applications of chlorpicrin. So uh, give me just a second, I'll walk you through the rig. So just to walk through the rig, um, the steel cylinder, uh, what we would call a pig, would be on this front rack hooked also to a nitrogen cylinder. Nitrogen would pressurize the tank. Um, if this were hooked up, the tank would be sitting here. This rated hose would run into the chloropicrin cylinder. Nitrogen would push it out down this line. And up into here, follow this into the filter through a series of uh, flow meters, valve sight glasses. So basically all the calibration would be happening here. And then out these tubes. We've got two tubes here because we were running multiple rates uh, in this specific trial. So in a commercial application, fumigant would be coming down these tubes and then down into this tube on the back side of the shank. So shanks below the soil surface and you're injecting. Um, so it's a fairly simple nitrogen pressurized system um, through a filter, through a flow meter, control and rate, um, and then into these tubes. So, but from the perspective of what we're trying to do with this in the field is you've got a front cut and coulter that is cutting trash and cleaning the way uh, for the shank to run in trash free. Then you have the shank that is making the application. On the back side of that shank, you have one set of closing discs that's pinching down the furrow that's being made here so that we don't have any uh, product coming up out of the soil surface. Then you have another set of closing discs here, and then you have a packing wheel. So, kind of a side view of that whole process. This is allowing us to fumigate flat, and it's allowing us to fumigate um, in a burned down cover crop or into a uh, minimum tillage situation. We'll go out to the field and I'll kind of show you what that finished product looks like. So here we are in the field. Um, I'm sitting right on the line of treated versus not, uh, just to give you a, a pretty good indication of what you see here off of my right shoulder um, in terms of what the field looked like when we got here. Again, it's a burned down cover crop. This is not a full till situation. And then what you see uh, to my left, which is where we ran. I'll flip the camera around here in a second and give you a closer look at it. Um, but again, this is an example uh, of a chloropicrin application in a minimum tillage uh, in row flat scenario. A little bit closer view here of 
as we were running this piece of equipment, you can see the strips that were left uh, between these strips. Grower does this to limit erosion. He also does this to keep from sandblasting small cucumber plants in high wind situations. And it's reduced tillage passes across the field, uh, which saves time and, and money in terms of diesel fuel and operators. So in this scenario here, you can see the application row. The shank would have traveled right here. And so what we're trying to create is a treatment zone across this whole bed that creates the most uniform um, and soilborne pest-free zone that we can within the root zone. And the more yield-bearing plants we can get to emerge per acre, the higher our yield will be. The more uniform they are, the more uniform the crop set is, which puts more of the cucumbers in a marketable category for pickle production. And the faster we can get those plants to emerge, the more sunlight they collect, uh, the more solar panels we have uh, for plants to do what plants do um, to generate more yield. 